Lily here from Shine Bright Diamonds 2023 and I'm coming to you today with part two of a whip and chat where I'll be answering the remaining questions from the diamond painting community tag questions that have been going around um, pretty much on YouTube by other uh, diamond painting creators. So uh, for those of you that don't know, or maybe this is your first time joining me, welcome. I'm super excited to have you. Um, now today I'll be doing a whip and chat. And for those of you that maybe have not yet watched one before, WIP stands for work in project progress. And of course, while I'm working, feel free to either pull out a project or treat this as a podcast, however you wish. Uh, today, the kit that I will be working on is from Fallon Gems and it is called Summer Vibes. So I'm just going to slowly show you, like I've done, you know, a little bit of the first row here and then we're going to start working on this section here. So um, as a little bit of a disclaimer, I just see like a drill, I didn't press it down properly there. Um, I am an affiliate with Fallon Gems. So if you are interested in taking a look at some other diamond paintings that the company does offer, there is a discount code that you can use. I'll link it below in the information box. But if you use my discount code SHINEBRIGHTDIAMONDS2023, that will get you 40% off uh, your purchase at Fallon Gems. So that's just a little disclaimer. Um, of course, no pressure to use the discount code at all, but if you do, your support does mean the world to me and any, um, I guess, proceeds will go back into this channel to keep bringing you some exciting content. So let's get into it because that's what I'm here for. Um, so tools that we are using. So I'm gonna be using one of my go-to diamond painting accessories, which is this lovely tray coming from Yellow Dog Designs. Of course, I do have one of my pens from Creations Moren. Um, this on the tip, it is a six placer. Um, we do have putty from Creations Moren if I need it. It's Caribbean coconut, but I just put putty in this, so we should be okay. I've also been slowly using and getting familiar with the Diamond Art Club new pen that I had received in a couple of their mini Dazzler kits. So I personally have been really enjoying this pen in particular when I've been doing like pretty much mini kits. Right now I'm working through the Paint Gem Mystery mini kit so I haven't been sharing any of the content about that too much but hopefully once that's done I will start working on some of the other mini kits that I have in my stash but this pen you might see it I love it a lot when there's confetti um, so I'll just leave that off to the side. Of course I am someone and you will notice I don't always place my drills the in I would say like super straight. So I do have this here. Um, this is a little mini diamond painting pen from Creations Dobell that I put actually a straightener tip on. And I use this all the time to help me straighten out my drills. And it doesn't matter if I'm working on square or round. I just, for whatever reason, cannot always place things straight. So I don't know, that's always off to the side. So let's get into it. I'm actually gonna turn on um, the light. So I do apologize, but I have a hard time seeing things. So this is our section. I will, you know, slowly be making my way through it. I know I want to start off with the color blocking here, but um, how are we doing? Like what's new? What's exciting? I know today I'm filming this on Sunday, July 21st. And today I am actually taking it super slow. Yesterday I was in the big city, Toronto, to see Tina the Musical with family um so we ended up taking the go train down and spent the day in toronto walked through the eaton center got food so it was just a really nice family day but i'm not gonna lie i am tired <laughs> so today's definitely a recovery day lots of diamond painting um just sort of chilling oh dear there we go okay i don't know what on earth i just did yeah, so for those of you that are new, um, welcome. You're gonna see probably a lot of chaos. Actually, I'm off to a pretty good start. Um, oh, no we aren't. See, look at that. 
classic made. This is why it takes me so long to do any diamond painting because either I'm spilling drills, not placing them straight, having mishaps. I don't know. Maybe some of you are also like this. But you know what? The point of the craft is to do it to relax. And there we go. I always find like the edge rows are the hardest ones. And then once I get the edges, then things go much smoother. No. I also have a hard time picking up drills. I don't know if it's just me. That's probably why I don't generally do a lot of whip and chats because I'm not a smooth diamond painter <laughs> at all. So, um, where did I leave off? Yeah, so the last video that I had posted was part one of a whip and chat talking about just answering some getting to know you questions. And I had only done half the questions because I'm a rambler. I talk a lot and I kind of figured if I tried to answer all the questions in the same video, um, it would, we would be here like for hours. So today uh, we are going to answer, or I will be answering the final questions. I think I only have 10 left to answer, but I will link all the tag questions down below. So. Um, just as you know a little bit of heads up I got these tag questions from the diamond stitcher another Canadian youtuber um, which if you haven't checked out their videos you totally should but I kind of figured you know what I don't tend to do whip and chats I tend to you know just do unboxing videos of some kind see this is what I'm talking about the crookedness um, so I kind of figured there we go do some tag questions, have everyone sort of get to know me, and who knows, maybe I'll do more whip and chats in the future. I'm still getting familiar, like I'm not gonna lie, with editing YouTube videos. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I need to change my putty. There. Um, sorry, so like I was saying, I'm still getting familiar with how to, you know, edit YouTube videos. I tend to um, do everything in a one shot because I haven't figured out how to do cuts yet. I feel like I should probably watch some videos on YouTube on how to edit YouTube videos. Uh, maybe one day we'll get there. We will see, we will, we will see. But for now, let's get into the questions. So I do have them off to the side because I'm trying to be a little more organized. So last time I left off with number, tw number 12 talking about, you know, what my unicorn kit was. And I had said, you know, I don't really have a unicorn kit right now. Um, really, it's just I've been waiting for Diamond Art Club to restock Chroma by Margaret Morales. Um, that's sort of the only unicorn-y type kit I have. I don't have anything that is like discontinued that I'm like, oh man, wish I had have picked that up. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to move on. So number three. 13 is what is the kit in your stash you are most looking forward to working on so I'm not gonna lie um, I think there's two so I had picked up um, a diamond painting from the company Oraloa called I have a dream and it's sort of like a little mermaid inspired diamond painting so that one I really want to work on but with how fast I work on things, I have a feeling that, see, look at that, flinging drills. I, sorry, I have a feeling that I might not get around to it anytime soon, simply because I need to start finishing up some of the current whips I have to prepare for drills and chills. But definitely I have a dream from Oraloa is one that I do really want to work on. In terms of like some of the other ones, I have, what's it called, Satura from Margaret Morales in my diamond painting stash and I absolutely adore the colors. It's like blues and greens. So I'm thinking that might be the next kit that I work on. It would also, I think it would fit the theme of Drills and Chills. I'm not entirely sure. 
so we'll see if it fits the theme for drills and chills and I'll work on it if not then I might just say screw it I'm kidding it up because it's just absolutely stunning um, and especially as I head into the fall season I don't want to be working on you know super bright kits with pinks and purples so yeah I think those are the two if I can choose to I guess I don't know what the rules are of this um, with like these tag questions but those would be the ones that I would say yes to the Orlo one and Satura by Margaret Morales I think yeah I don't know these are really hard questions like when you actually think about it so number 14 do you prefer confetti color blocking or a mix of both I think this current kit says it all I actually prefer a mix of both so funny story the very first diamond painting that I worked on from um, Diamond Art Club was flower delivery which is just pure confetti and then after that I needed a break so I was working on quite a few kits that were color blocking and I realized that I like a mix of both like I don't have a problem working on a kit that is only confetti I don't have a problem working on a kit that is just color blocking but if a kit has like a good mix of both then I'm all for it so like the current kit that I'm working on summer vibes and I'm gonna bring this a little closer like this side oh you can see my crookedness I need to fix that but anyway um the current part that I'm working on is just color blocking and then as soon as we get into the palm tree confetti and for whatever reason I like it like it's just oh see it stuck my fingers on it <laughs> so much mess um, but yeah I really think you know a mix of both is something I think about just because like Katie and Washi has a saying or not Katie and Washi Katie from was it Washi and Diamonds I think I'm forgetting but anyway uh, she has a saying and she always says something along the lines like um, confetti keeps it interesting but color blocking keeps it moving or something along those lines I might be mixing that up but I'm like you know what that's really true like I find when I'm working on kits that you know have that little bit of everything in it those are the ones that keep me really engaged and really interested um, so I don't know and you know what maybe down the road that might change who knows but right now a good mix of both is something that I really enjoy a lot okay so diamonds and washi that's it that's Katie's YouTube channel diamonds and washi duh to me okay next one number 15 how do you pick which piece you want to work on next so that's a funny question because in the burr months so September October November December I choose kits based off of the diamond painting events that are running for whatever reason diamond painting events in the burr months are the events that I really look forward to throughout the year but when we are dealing with the rest of the months it honestly goes by mood um, it really goes by my mood and what sort of color palette I want to work on um, in my diamond painting stash I do have a lot of bright color kits I don't have a lot of kits that are just like dark or dark art it's not really my vibe um, and I'm also very <laughs> this is gonna sound so weird but I'm also very um, influenced by the weather and so what I mean by that is like in if it's like a rainy day and I maybe need to and it's a day that I'm choosing a kit then for whatever reason I will choose a kit that maybe has me more muted colors um, if it's like a sunny day I tend to choose kits that you know are a little more vibrant I know that's certainly what happened with my current whips because I've got this one here summer vibes which is you know fun bright colors and then I'm also working on year of the dragon from diamond art club which I'm 90% sure that that kit got kitted up and chosen because the day I needed a new kit 
it was cloudy because that kit is just shades of brown. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, but for whatever reason on like a bright sunny day, I'm not always in the mood to work on it. So definitely a mood um, diamond painter and I am definitely influenced heavily by the weather. So we'll see what happens in the fall. Like I do have um, two kits in, that I'm thinking of for drills and chills. One of them is Halloween Screams, um, which is like a SpongeBob kit. And then the other one is from Michaels and it's called Moon Bats. And it's, you know, dark shades of purple and bats obviously flying around at night. Um, the SpongeBob kit, it's SpongeBob. <laughs> like it just, it makes me happy. So depending on the weather on September 1st, we'll determine if I go with like a dark moody purple kit or if I go with a silly SpongeBob kit because that, that makes so much sense to me for whatever reason. Okay, the next question. So we are on question 16. What is your favorite season plus holiday to diamond paint? So oh, I think it, I'm gonna say favorite season to diamond paint can I say all seasons? Is that a thing? Because I feel like I have kits from all the seasons. Um, but the favorite holiday for me to dye and paint is definitely like fall themed kits. Not like scary Halloween kits, but like the fun Halloween kits. Like the cute ones with the cute pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and like the nice friendly witches. I don't like skeletons. So yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, definitely say the fun cutesy Halloween and the cutesy cozy autumn winter wise uh, I don't know I'm not really into I've never actually diamond painted like a Christmas Christmas kit with like a Santa Claus that I'm not really into those maybe that will change one day I don't know um, I don't really do like Eastery themed kits like with eggs and bunnies and stuff um, yeah, so season wise, I think it's all seasons, but when it comes to holidays, definitely cutesy Halloween, cozy autumn, cozy Halloween, not scary, definitely there. Okay. Number 17. Do you work on one kit at a time or have multiple whips at once? So I used to be one whip at a time. Now... Um, it tends to be two going at the same time. Now, in terms of the two going at the same time, it's normally one large kit and one smaller kit. So right now I have the giant kit from Diamond Art Club going, and then I have my small Fallon Gems kit going. Um, in terms of the drills, it really doesn't matter. Like right now it's two square drills. It is what it is. I, I don't have a preference. I honestly just go by what what images speak to me but yeah right now I try and keep it only at two I know I have a diamond dots kit that I really want to kit up but space wise I don't have the space for three whips to go at the same time so and I don't consider like any of the mini kits like whips just because oftentimes I do them in one sitting um, and I can actually do them in my family room in front of the TV like I have a TV tray that they're set up on um, for me, a whip is working in the current space I am because the table I'm on, um, you can't see it, but all of my diamond painting supplies are essentially in front of me right now. And I it can really only hold one big kit at a time. So if that makes any sense, I think I just rambled as per normal. Okay, next one, 18, neutral dark pieces or colorful pieces? I think I've already answered this, colorful pieces. Um, not dark pieces neutral colors I think I'm starting to like be like okay this could work um but yeah mostly colorful pieces especially kits that have like purples pinks blues and mm, I want to say greens I'm starting to really get drawn to like kits with the color green in it but anyway Okay, next question. Um, 19, large pieces or snack size pieces? I'm a little bit of both. 
uh, simply because if I like the painting, then I will go for it. Um, I did run into an issue where when I first, you know, discovered licensed paintings, I didn't pay attention to the sizes. I have some that are just absolutely massive. And to be honest, I have no idea how I'm going to work on them because I do have a limited desk space. Um, but I also really like these snack size kits. Like this painting that I'm working on right now is a 30 by 30 centimeter one. And I really like it. I like that it's not, you know, being folded up. I'm not clipping it. Um, it can somewhat lay flat. I don't know. I'm still trying to find, you know, the perfect sizes that I like. That's for sure. But yeah, I'm going to say a little bit of both. Large and snack. Um, 20. Place diamonds with tweezers or a pen. 100% a pen. I really only use the tweezers if I accidentally drop a diamond on the sticky spot or I need to pick a diamond off because I didn't put it in the right spot or it's not on straight. I am always... For pens like right now I'm multi-placing once I get in I love how I'm using my pen as a pointer um, but once I get into this section it might be a little bit of multi-placing and single placing but I've, I, I don't know how people pick up diamonds with tweezers if you're someone that does that please leave me a comment tell me how you do that because I feel like that takes a lot of coordination that I personally do not possess at all okay the next question squares or rounds I prefer like uh, yes so I like both however I tend to if I'm given the option I would go with squares like don't get me wrong I love a round kit but if when I look at my stash it is mostly square um, diamond paintings and I think it's probably because squares do give you a lot more detail. And I do love diamond paintings that are detail orientated. So squares, I guess. Yes, we'll just say yes for that one. Okay, oh no, number 22. What is your favorite method for placing AP drills? <sighs> oh. AB drills are the bane of my existence in diamond painting. One thing I currently love about this kit is there is no AB drills. So there are no, I'm not gonna be on a struggle bus at all with this kit. Um, so AB drills, where do you wanna start on that one? I feel like I could do a whole video just ranting about AB drills. Uh, but AB drills, I honestly, for whatever reason, I can only single place them. Those of you that multi-place AB drills, kudos to you. I don't know how you do it. I can only single place AB drills. Um, I'll grab it, but I have what is called a palm placer that I had gotten from Creations Moren. This is literally only for AB drills because I can just hold it. It's great. So AB drills are single placed with my palm placer. And for whatever reason, maybe it's just my climate, but beeswax is the go-to. I think I talked about it last week, but I get my beeswax from Dreamwax Studios, which is in Ontario. So that's my province. And for whatever reason, their product is the only thing that I have found that does not stick to AB drills. So yeah, beeswax palm placer, single place and all the way. So when there's large, large sections of um, AB drills, that, that takes me a long time, a really long time. And even then, I am always struggling with AB drills. Fairy dust, love them, no problems whatsoever. But AB drills, single place, beeswax, use my palm placer. And I always do AB drills last because I use putty um, for everything and I find that if I do my AB drills first and then I'm trying to multi-place and there's putty around then I sometimes wreck the AB drills and if I ever have like residue stuff on AB drills I always just wipe that section down with like a baby wipe and that tends to take it off it's very chaotic 
I'm not surprised at this point. Neither should you. Okay, so um, number 23, what is your preferred method of sectioning off a canvas? So I got this, I feel like this is from like multiple how-to videos on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, I've watched so many how-to videos, but I will honestly measure out the section like with um, my release paper, lay down washi tape, and then cut off the plastic and lay down release papers. And that's how I section things off. Um, even with, what is it, Diamond Art Club has that new like perforated cover. Even with the perforated cover, I still do that method. It's, it makes sense, it works. It's not a hassle. I don't foresee me changing that anytime soon. So that is how that gets done. Okay, number 24. Do you have any other crafty hobbies aside from diamond painting? So I do, I think I've talked about it in my first video, but I, this is not coming out, there we go. So I do enjoy coloring. Um, so I will color on the side typically with pencil crayons. I also, sorry, I'm trying to get a color. I also knit. Um, I don't really knit like clothing and stuff. I mostly will knit dishcloths for around the apartment. For whatever reason, I like knitting dishcloths. And most recently I did pick up a crochet hook so that I really wanna learn how to crochet dishcloths just because they're really useful. Um, so that is coming. I'm still trying to figure out how to hold a crochet hook and make a basic chain. For whatever reason, crocheting is really hard for me, but I think it's a good challenge. So those are my other like crafty hobbies. I did try paint by number, wasn't a fan of that. I used to scrapbook, not anymore. Um, but yeah, it's really knitting, dye and painting, coloring are my go-tos. Okay, the last question, number 25, who do you tag to do this video? So I'm gonna leave it open. I'm gonna tag any of you who've watched this video and part one. If there's any questions that you wanna answer in the comments, by all means, go for it. I would love to get to know um, some of you that do watch my videos. Your support does mean the world to me. Of course, if you are another diamond painting YouTube content creator, I don't know what we call ourselves. Um, please, please feel free to do your own version of the tag questions. Um, yeah, I just realized that this is now stuck. Oh no. See, this is what happens when I'm left alone and I'm diamond painting and there's no video chaos. But uh, those are the tag questions. Like I said, I will drop them in the chat below. Um, I'm gonna sign off now because I think this video is approaching the 30 minute mark. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, um, if you want to see more current diamond painting content, I tend to post a lot of updates on my Instagram, um, a lot more progress posts there, and any sort of small shops um, packages that I do get. Those are also shared on my Instagram and you can find me at Shine Bright Diamonds 2023. Of course, your support does mean the world to me. Um, so other than that, happy Sunday. I'm going to see, I don't know, this video might go up later today. Maybe it might go up Monday. We'll see. But until next time, happy diamond painting and uh, bye.